And when we move over to the the left side of the te uh, critical temperature, but we're above the critical pressure, like I talked about already, this is compressed liquid. And where did I learn learn about this? Well, really, I was I was chatting with my friend, uh, good friend, James Seabrook. He owns a company called Vit Vitalis, and they uh, build CO2 extraction machines. And I'm like, okay, Trevor, if you're below that critical temperature, but you're above that pressure, it's you, you know, it's a it's a liquid still. And that really means that uh, you're not the supercritical fluid or undefined fluid. That means that you can extract out of different products uh, using CO2 liquid. And really, actually, where I, I got the compressed liquid, called the compressed liquid, was from my friend Nabil Cook. He's part of the 12-week design course. This guy's a, an expert. And so I highly recommend if you haven't been into the 12-week design or you know anyone that that is looking to design transcritical systems. This guy's a game changer uh, for knowledge on designing systems. But he was like, Trevor, that is a compressed liquid. And then I put the two, two together. It's like, because we don't see that in refrigeration. We don't see, uh, you know, above the critical pr pressure really and below the critical temperature. Um, but if you're ever in that state, it would be, if you're ever in this zone right here, it would be a compressed liquid. 